Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Amtech Viral. So we have made our first uh, uh, first application in Django, and uh, this is not very interesting, but this is rendering of our first HTML page, which is index.html, and it is also showing that uh, dynamic message "Welcome to my first app," which I haven't declared in the HTML. If you will see here. In, in in the html i have this data and it is directly fetching it from views dot uh, py so this is very simple and uh, i i want to do some color type of thing i want to make it more uh, you know beautiful so what i need in that case i need the css files and images and javascript and everything like that so what we will do here we will create another directory in the root folder which is the first project where the templates reside we will also make another folder here and we will say it like static you can call anything you want so i am telling it is static like templates it is static so uh, what i have to do now i will go to the uh, settings.py and i have to say to the python that this is my static file and here i or uh, this is my static directory and here i will store all my static files so i'll move to the bottom and I'll say here that, and you can see here we have this uh, <laughs> static underscore URL. So let's uh, see once how we declared our uh, template. So here you can see that we have this dirs uh, os dot path dot join base directory templates etc etc. So in this similar fashion, we will declare our static files. So let's see how we will do that. So here we will write static underscore dirs which is static directories and we can say where it is in the folder static here you can uh, change the name of the folder whatever you want then we have to uh, tell another uh, name which is static files underscore dirs you have to define them exactly like this because this is the pattern of Django and you can uh, take a more better look by going to this URL where it is uh, totally uh, declared there it is written there that how to do this static files thing so here what I will do I'll make a list here and I'll I'll put the static directories here and you can have more directories here as well so this is our static file directory and you don't have to do anything else so in this static what we will do we will create another directory or we don't have to do this because static files can be used um, any, uh, anywhere so we will make a directory but this time for css and uh, we can have another directory let's say for images we will use them accordingly right now we don't have to use much so in this css directory let's create an uh, let's create a CSS file for style sheet. So let's call it my style, my style dot CSS. And here let's say that I want to do some operation with the body, and I want to change its background color to. Uh, let's say I want to make it chocolate. Okay, let's say it. Uh, I know that it, this will not look very nice, but let's try to use this so we will go to back to index.html and now how can i declare that static file so first of all behind this uh, doc uh, doc type html we have to load static files so how will we do that uh, we will use on this uh, curly brace then we will use this modular signature which is percentage sign and it will open and close it and now here we will write load static files okay so this is how uh, this we have to write this okay there is no uh, other thing um, uh, apart from this which we have to write but we have to declare it on the top so that we can load static files in this html page and then we have to give the reference to the our style sheet which we just uh, created so here what we will do uh, it is Arial style sheet if you don't know about it then you need to watch my CSS tutorial and here we will give the link and the link can't be like this like you can't say CSS slash images order 
and we can't do this so here also you have to open the curly braces again and you have to uh, write this percentage sign now here you will see static and then using space you can define here css slash my style dot css so this is how you will declare the uh, css file and believe me this is not that much difficult once you will be familiar with this then it will be very easy for you and this is how we will declare the static file so we have finally declared it now we can um, we have already set its uh, body's background color to chocolate so let's save it and uh, just go to our browser and let's refresh it so as you can see uh, we have our uh, css effect here and that is that that means that our uh, static files are working properly so we don't have to do anything so whenever we will reference to static files we will use this syntax so these are these are called template tags like uh, this um, um, braces and this percentage sign or this is string interpolation by using two braces so these are the template tags we will talk about more tags but uh, this is uh, the most compulsory and most basic tags which we'll, we will use everywhere so first uh, first thing was that we have to load static files then we have to declare those static files and we have to make that static folder and inside settings.py we, we need to give reference to, to those folders so this is all about uh, static files and this is how we will use in, uh, html and css together uh, using python and uh, this is all about this video so i'll see in the next video thank you